we're just thrilled that finally the public curfew law has finally met its ultimate demise. Um, it's been a long time coming and stuff, but thankfully the commission were able to see the flaws and the damage that this law actually would do um, that unfortunately the mayor and uh, Attorney Berryman could not see. Um, we actually came up with a lot of information that we passed on to them that you would think as an attorney and a mayor they would look into these things a little more. Um, like a law we found in Cleveland um, that was actually upheld in the appeals court and also the Ohio State Supreme Court saying uh, a curfew law that was put in place in Cleveland was unconstitutional. Um, it was basically the same exact setup where it was going to be from 10 p.m. to 5 a.m. Nobody would be allowed to go on those premises and those, those public grounds. Um, and for the same reasons, basically for same material reasons. Um, but the court said that this no uh, impeded on people's uh, First Amendment rights and was unconstitutional. So um, we're just glad that things finally done and we can move on to new things. It is interesting, I mean, uh, if anybody's followed this through, it's, this, this law has really evolved. Um, when it was first thrown out, um, the language was much more uh, attacking on uh, the homeless population here in the town. Um, there was actual language about um, public sleeping, about public camping. Um, although we still did feel that the main aim of that was at Occupy Athens and Occupy style, style protests. Um, but it's evolved over the last geez, 14 months that this thing's been allowed, been allowed to go through these different committees um, and finally through the commission chambers. Um, so yeah, it's been a long battle and it's just, it's just shocking that someone didn't wake up beforehand and say, wait, this is wrong, this is obviously unconstitutional, um, this is barring people from coming on public grounds. Uh, that, that right there is, I mean, public grounds. Public cannot go on the public grounds. It's just, it, it really puzzled us that it took this long, but finally, here we are. Um, this is not the kind of things that uh, members of Occupy Athens had been wanting to deal with. Um, we basically feel like, if anything, we want to help you know, the city, we want the city to be better, we want to help the state. Uh, we want people to be able to reach and be able to connect with their government more. And those are the things we want to be focusing on, helping people and not trying to, um, you know, fight off these attacks on us and all of the other people in Athens, Georgia, uh, their rights. We don't want, we really felt like this just kind of in, inhibited us and kind of like uh, was a, you know, made us, it was, it was very much a nuisance. Um, and so now that this is gone, we were planning on bigger and better things, um, start working on some living wage campaigns and start working on some other uh, local rights campaigns. So.